And all he can say is, take it all back. He didn't even say thank you. His friend Cliff Dempsey wants Derry to go into business with him. Buy land, build houses. Derry wants to go in on it with him. He even went down to the bank to check out a loan. You know what happened? But yeah, the bank turned him down, no credit. Just makes it worse when he sees all these things he claims we don't need. Why didn't he tell me? I want to argue with him like that. You know, Derry, he's got a lot of pride. It's hard for him to be turned down. Yeah, I know. But he's got to keep on believing. Somebody's got to win. Why not us? Right? A motorhome? He bought a motorhome? Mr. Iverson's letting him try it out. He says when he starts his poster boy tour, he needs a motorhome, you know, to travel from town to town. He's seen how all those celebrities on TV travel in a motorhome. Pony, where's he now? Probably the DX to show it off to you guys. He left here not uh, 10 minutes ago. Thanks, Pony Boy. Well, we got to find him, man, quick. Hey, if he's not there, try Mohawk Lake. Got himself a wetsuit. Could be out there getting ready for his vacation in Hawaii. Diving for old tires. <laughs> Turn me down, Cliff. Harvey, over at the loan department, flat out turn me down. You told him you had assets, your truck, your tools. Yeah, you won't believe this. I don't owe anyone. Therefore, I don't have any credit. Can you believe that? You know, when my dad was working, he didn't owe anyone a damn dime. What is he doing here? Anyway, I, I just wanted to come by and tell you in person. I'm sorry, Jack, for both of us. What are you doing here? Saw the Pop Curtis, Cliff. Pleasure to meet you. Would you excuse us a minute? Dad, we need to talk. What is this? Pony boy told me about the deal between you and Cliff here. Are you not getting your loan? Does this mean you're not going to do it with him? Yeah. Now, why don't you butt out? Cliff and I are talking about it right now. Listen, Darry, I know I was wrong for charging all those things on Buck's credit card, but I'm doing the right thing. I'm sending everything back. And when Mr. Fogarty sends that check on Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to help you buy this land, Darry. This is the perfect opportunity for you. And it's what you've been waiting for your whole life. Now I know you're crazy. Am I? I don't think so, Darry. However you want it. You want me to loan it to you? You got it, Darry. We'll work out some kind of payment plan. You want me to give it to you? It's yours, Darry. You want me as like a silent partner? Whatever, Darry. It's all up to you. Cliff! You and my brother here are gonna make two fine partners. Darry's the best. <laughs> Hear that, Darry? Cliff Dempsey said you're the best. And you know what else? So do I. Remember what Dad also said? He used to tell us he'd like to see us in a family business. And I can make that happen, Darry. I can. Ball's in your court. Give me 24 hours. I need some more time. You got it. I understand. Mr. Iverson's let me use this. That's great, so. Wait till you see the inside. It's got a stove, running water, a refrigerator, beds. We can get in this baby and go clear across America. Now that's what it's all about. Freedom. We can get in this and go where we want, and then park. Well, it's a beauty soda. I, I got an idea for the three of us. We can take a trip in this. I mean, we're probably going to get drafted next year. So we got to have fun while we can. There's a war going on. And remember what Buck says. Us greasers, we always get sent to the front. We might as well live it up as we can. What do you got to say? Soda. And this summer, we'll take off. The three of us. See the country. Listen, Soda, we got to talk to you, and this is serious. Where in the hell did you get this thing? Surely you didn't. No, don't worry, Buck. Mr. Iverson said, try it out a couple days, see if I like it. Did you know we've been looking all over creation for you, trying to get that plastic apple out of your hands? You were right, Buck. I was wrong. I saw all the things you can buy with that thing. All what things? Don't worry. I'm sending it all back. What's getting sent back? Just some things for the family. A refrigerator, couch, TV, a high five. But don't worry, I'm sending it all back. And when I get that check on Monday or Tuesday, I'm gonna pay you back, Buck, I promise. Look, Soda will help you pay it all back right now, okay? Yeah, that's a good idea, Steve. 
Right away, Buck. We'll, we'll help so down and we'll send everything back today. I'm gonna call Butterfields to cancel that order on those wrenches. We've been doing things our way just fine. Okay. You know where you're going. Right back in that iron bedroom. And you're not coming out for a long, long time. And when I get back from that poster boy tour, I'm gonna talk to you about some vacation time. Me and the boys here, we're gonna go on the road together. Now listen, Soda, there ain't gonna be no poster boy tour. We're talking about two, but you guys are coming with me. We should have told you a long time ago. Told me what, Steve? We wrote the telegram. Look, we just wanted it to be a big joke, Soda. No, you never won the contest. It just got out of hand. Soda made it all up. No, honest, it was just a joke. I Don't should ever... pound your butts right here, right now. And you know I could do it. How could you guys do this to me? Whatever you want, Soda, we're going to pay for it. Two Bit and I, we'll pay for it. Yeah, me and Steve, we're good for that. Just a big joke, huh? Well, it's not very funny. told Soda about me getting turned down by the bank. Yeah. Soda agreed to take everything back and give me that prize money to help me buy that land. He really wants me to have that land. <laughs> That's great, Derry. Hey, he really wants you to be in business for yourself. What'd you say? If Fogarty calls Soda by tomorrow and has that check in his hand, Cliff and me have a deal. That means we can go into family business like Dad always wanted us to. That's great, Derek. I even told Cliff that my little brother won the Crown State Poster Boy Contest. A $5,000 prize. How about that? Hey, Steve. Hey, Ben. Well, hey, did you guys ever find soda? You faked that telegram? All this has been a big joke? Just one big laugh to you guys, huh? Soda bought all that stuff. He thinks he won. Well, not anymore. We just told him. You no, know, we're sorry. It was just a big, bad joke. It just got out of hand. How could you guys do this? I thought you were his two best friends. How did he take it? What did he say? He wanted to pound our butts. I wish he had a... What did he do? You know, I've never seen that look on his face before. You know, he just stared at us. Then he drove away. So we thought he'd come here. Any idea where he went? No, I hope he didn't get so mad he ran off and joined the army or something. He wouldn't be that stupid. Pony, grab your jacket. We'll start looking for him. You two guys stay here. If he shows up, you keep him here. You hear me? Yeah, we won't move. We won't. OK. you. We got scared. Thought you might even run off to join the army. Not a bad idea, Pony. Pony, remember Dad always coming by here to think things out. Steve and Tubit came by the house. They told us. Yeah, two good friends I have, huh? Yeah. I made you look like a fool in front of Cliff, Darry. And I'm sorry. Look at this mess I got myself into. What a dope I am. I saw my cell phone believing that telegram. Don't worry about it. I started wanting to believe just as much as you. 